Compression maps. A compression map is a function which converts a value or an integer in the range minus infinity to infinity to a range 0 to n minus 1. So it's going to map an integer which is in the range minus infinity to infinity to an integer in the range 0 to n minus 1. So there are two basic ways in which we can do this. The first being division. So if I have an integer y, then the compression map of that y is going to equal to y mod n. So it's going to divide y by n and whatever integer it gets is going to be the integer in the range 0 to n minus 1. This is because whenever we divide anything by an integer say n, we can and will only get the remainder as some value between 0 to n minus 1. The remainder can never exceed this. So this is the first way in which we can compress a range of an integer of a wide range into the range which we want. Let me take an example for this. Let's take n equal to 101. Let's say the values I have received from my hash code are 101, 102, 103. So now the compression map of this is going to be 101 mod 101 will be 0, 102 will map to 1, 103 will map to 2. Now n is typically taken as a prime number. This is because it's going to reduce the probability of collisions. So 101 map to 0, 102 map to 1, 103 map to 2. Now the disadvantage of this method is that collisions, even if n is chosen as a prime number, collisions can still occur quite frequently. Let's say the hash code values we receive as 101, 202, 303. In such a case, the compression map of this is going to be 0, 0, 0. 101 will map to 0, so will 102 and 103. So in this case, collision occurs. So to avoid this much collision, we opt for a different method. This method is called multiply, add and divide. So in this, our compression of some value y is going to equal to a into y plus b mod some value p, this whole thing mod some value n. Now let's see what these variables are. n is a prime number or a prime integer. p is a prime integer which is less than n. a and b are non-zero constants. So let's take the same example of 101, 202, 303 and see if this method proves to be any better. So we have n is equal to 101. p should be any prime integer which is less than n. Let's say p is equal to 5. I'm going to take a arbitrarily as 3 and b as 3. So now let's see the hash code values. We have 101, 202, 303. Let's calculate for 101. Now, a y plus b, this is equal to 
303 plus 3 which is equal to 309 mod 5. So this is equal to 309 mod 5 which is going to give me 4. Sorry, this is not going to give me 309, it's going to give me 306. 303 plus 3 is equal to 306. 306 mod 5 will give me 1. So now we have the value of ay plus b mod p. So now we do that value mod n, so 1 mod 101, which is equal to 1. So the compression of, three, of 101 is going to be 1. Let's look at the compression of 202. I have 202 into 3 which will give me 606 plus 3. So 606 plus 3 will give me 609. 609 mod 5 will give me 4. Now we do 4 mod 101 which will give me 4. Now we see 303. 303 into 3 which will give me 909 plus 3 which will give me 912. Now this mod 5 is going to equal to 2. So this is the value we are going to insert here. This will give me 2. 2 mod 101 is equal to 2. In this way we have reduced the collisions of this particular case. So these are the two compression maps out of which multiply add divide will cause less collisions so it is more preferred.